Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be turning a jack-o'-lantern into a flaming jack-o'-lantern for a fun Halloween-themed project. <laughs> Let's get started. You're gonna need a pumpkin, pumpkin carving things, obviously, kerosene for your fuel, and believe it or not, a roll of toilet paper. First step, of course, is to carve your pumpkin however you want. The only thing you will need to make note of is make sure that the hole you cut in the top is large enough to fit your roll of toilet paper down inside the pumpkin. So I'm going to trace around, making sure I have more than enough room, and then uh, start cutting into it. Oh, delicious. I hate carving pumpkins. They're such an enormous mess, but I'll suffer through it because I love you all so much. Clean out the inside. Make sure your toilet paper does fit through. <laughs> yes, it does. Then let's draw us a face. <laughs> I am terrible at this, like usual. It looks just like me. Propane is awesome. So I'm gonna stick it in this pumpkin and then see if we can actually blow the face out. And it might not work at all, but we're gonna find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It appears to have uh, lost his tooth, uh, but we're gonna ignore that. Go ahead and take your toilet paper roll and just drop that inside. And then grab the fuel, which we're gonna use kerosene because it's a pretty slow burning fuel. Uh, if you use something like gasoline, you would be in a lot of trouble. Don't do that. We're gonna try to fill and get it to soak up into this toilet paper roll. Basically, we're creating a, an oil lamp where the toilet paper is our wick. It's soaking up all of that fuel and it's going to allow it to burn slowly. I'm making a mess. It would be better to do this with a funnel. Spilling it, that's glorious. I'm gonna flip it over to make sure we're soaking it evenly. Oh yeah, that's super heavy. The more kerosene you put in, obviously the longer this will burn for. If you put enough in, it'll probably burn for a good two hours. I'm overfilling it and we're spilling all over the table. That's great. Make sure to clean up any spills you've made of kerosene and then whenever you're ready, go ahead and ignite it. Kerosene, as I said, is very slow burning, so you don't need to be afraid of it, you know, just exploding in your face. Let's turn the lights off. We'll be able to see it better. Yep, that's epic. That puts off some great heat, I love that. You'd think the pumpkin would start burning, but the pumpkin is actually very damp. It's basically full of water and moisture. So the pumpkin itself is actually not gonna burn basically at all. It'll be hours before the pumpkin starts to char. See how the inside is basically not charring at all. And to turn it off, just go ahead and throw the top back on and it will start burning through its eyes. <laughs> oh, that looks amazing. You can, of course, dunk it in water, but the easiest way is to just throw a five gallon bucket over it and that will deprive it of oxygen and put it out immediately. It looks awesome just by itself, but for an added zing, we're gonna throw in some of these color changing flame packets on here. This is just stuff you can buy at Walmart. If you want to go DIY, uh, there's a great video on this channel that Nate did where he showed you how to make color changing flames out of just random household chemicals. So check that out. I threw three packets right on top of the toilet paper roll. So let's go ahead and light it and see what happens. The way these work is there's a powder inside the packets and the plastic of the packets melts and the powder catches fire. And then you start seeing some different color flames show up. I don't know if they're getting tall enough yet, but I can see color changing down inside. It's like it's just burning up too fast and not catching into the rest of the flames for some reason. I have emptied one of these road flares out and I have the contents in this cup. And I'm gonna dump it all out into this thing and hopefully we get an incredible red flame. Let's just do it. It'll probably take a second for it to start burning. There it goes. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, oh, that's so awesome. Oh my gosh, that is so incredibly bright. Holy goodness, that's cool. Whoa. So bright, good grief. <laughs> it's a beacon. Glowing through the pumpkin is so cool too because now the pumpkin is glowing orange because it's so bright inside. <laughs> Gosh, 
And that's how you make a flaming jack-o'-lantern and kind of make it change colors a little bit. This is awesome. Throw it on your front porch. It'll burn all night long, depending on how much fuel you put in. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.